Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back to show you guys a small little collector haul and to let you know that um, Hobby Lobby is starting their clearance sale once again um, and show you the things that I picked up. So I picked up Homemade with Love and this is by Karina Gardner. I believe um, Tuesday morning is also carrying this. At Hobby Lobby, it was regular $9.99 and it is on clearance sorry it's not focusing for two dollars and 49 cents and this has um nine 12 by 12 double-sided textured papers and an element sheet so i mean 9.99 was kind of high for this um pack but 249 is not bad at all so i went on and picked that up I know that Tuesday morning has this one in stock. This is Spring Market by Echo Park. And these are the papers that it has in there. It also has a sticker sheet, which looks like this. This one was also on clearance for $2.49. And um, this one has 12 uh, double-sided 12 by 12 sheets and a sticker sheet. And then I picked up this one. I'm not really sold on this one. I don't know what it is, but because it was cheap and I don't have a lot of um, 12 by 12 boy paper, I went on and picked it up for $2.49. But this is Bundle of Joy, a new edition by Alicia Gordon. And I don't know. I think it's just the colors that I'm not comfortable with because I don't normally use these types of colors when I'm crafting. But we're going to try to make it work because my plan is to make my daughter a, kind of like a gallery wall with um, different frames that I'm trying to pick up from the thrift store. Um, but I want them to all be a certain type of wood. But I plan on doing like scrapbook pages for those frames and the frames are gonna be different sizes and stuff. So we'll see how that works out. They had a lot of paint um, that was already marked down. A lot of, um, like the calligraphy stuff and the books as well as the kits and stuff like that, um, the lettering um, books and different things. Um, I will try to insert um, pictures for you guys so that you can see um, what I'm talking about and I'll do that right here. All right, guys, so the other things that I picked up from um, Hobby Lobby was I did pick up some of this um, snow, and it was only 50 cents because it's 90% off. Um, I also picked up a flopped, um, what is this called? Camouflage heat transfer sheet. This is a 12 by 12 sheet. It's in the wearable art section if you guys are looking for it, and it's $4.99 regular. Um, I got it for the 40% off because I used the coupon. Um, these were on sale for 30% off. They're regular $8.99. I was looking for these at 
Walmart, but they didn't have uh, the ballet slipper pink, which is what I was looking for. So these were like $6.24 with the 30% off. So not a bad deal. I think at Walmart they're, they're about $5.99 or something like that. I also picked up this one and this is just um, cottage white. And this one was um, also $6.24 with the discount. I picked up another one of these um, Soology Slim Rotary Cutters um, because I wanted one for cutting fabric and I also want one for maybe paper crafting. But this was on sale um, for $3.50. It was regular $6.99. So I did um, grab that and I think that is all that I got from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, if you guys are interested in like the clearance stuff, you may want to start stalking your stores to see if they've gotten in the, um, you know, if, they're, if they've started the markdowns is what I'm trying to say. Um, if they haven't started the markdowns, it's coming. So, you, you know, you just got to be a little bit patient. That's all. Um, I did run to the Dollar Tree. I've been seeing a bunch of different cute projects um, done with these little signs and stuff. And this is one from the Dollar Tree. It's super cute. Um, I like it. I was thinking I, I would just do like a little craft room decorating with that because I don't really decorate in the house for Valentine's Day. So um, I did pick up this um, reef form, um, heart form metal form and I think that you can use this at any time of year so I went on and picked it up because I know that after Valentine's Day they probably won't have the heart shape but you can even make a Christmas wreath using the heart shape one I think that would be really really cute so I just went on and picked it up just to have in my stash not that I was going to do anything with it right now um, I also picked up these glitter vase fillers and I've seen a bunch of different projects using this as well. So I just want to have some in my stash. And speaking of Valentine's Day stash, I literally went through my Valentine's stuff. And I have a box that I'm not sure if I'm going to de-stash it all together as one lot. Or if I'm going to break it down so that I can use those priority mail envelopes where it'll be a little bit cheaper to ship. But I have a box of stuff that I need to de-stash. So those videos will be coming up soon. I have a lot of stuff that I actually need to de-stash. So stay tuned for that. Um, I did pick up this permanent marker. And that's because um, I was trying to write on boxes when I was taking stuff out for Christmas. And my son was like, you don't have a, a bigger marker? <laughs> and I was like, no, I don't have a bigger permanent marker. So I went on and picked that up because it was only a dollar. So I figured that may be a little bit easier to use to write on boxes. Um, for some reason, I'm not sure if you guys are like this or not, but for some reason, every time I buy push pans, they go missing. I'm not sure where what's happening with them, but this one I said I'm going to put in a safe place so that I can have them. I use push pans actually to hang lightweight things on my wall here in my craft room instead of always nailing something into the wall. So um, these work great, but like I said, for some reason, mines keep going missing. I'm not sure if someone is, um, you know, putting them in a different place when they use them. I don't know, but... Um, I did find some of this clear um, shelf liner um, at Dollar Tree. This is perfect for um, doing your um, your vinyl projects and using this as transfer paper. So I went on and picked that up. I also picked up um, a box. It's a plastic storage box that can be used for you know storage here in the craft room or maybe in my laundry room, anywhere, honestly. Um, but I wanted white, but they didn't have white. So I picked up this teal one. And as you can see, it's pretty deep. It's like really, really deep. Um, and it's a really nice tall size basket. Um, it is about 10 and a half, uh, almost 11, no, 11 and a half inches uh, wide because of the way the outer perimeter of the box is and it's um, about 13 inches long um, and then 
tall. Let's see. Tall, it is about nine inches tall. So that is a pretty nice size basket and they have really nice colors. They had a hot pink one as well, but I didn't get that because I really don't have anything that's like super hot pink in my craft room. And I was buying it for the craft room, but then I kind of changed my mind once I got home and I'm trying to reconfigure one of my crafting tables. I also picked up these gorgeous flowers and they're like in this vintage kind of cream color um, hue. And I just thought they were so pretty. I bought seven bundles of them. And the reason was because when I was at, um, when I was at, uh, what is that place? Hobby Lobby. They had this uh, floral garland um, that is supposed to like drape on the wall. And it's a long floral garland, if you can imagine, like a, a long floral garland. And there's roses hanging down off of this garland and they kind of draped down the wall and I thought that was really cute and I was thinking about doing something like that here in my craft room but that garland at Hobby Lobby was very expensive if it wasn't $50 it it definitely was $35 it, it wasn't no cheaper than $35 and I want to say it was more closer to like 50 bucks or something like that and I was like I'm not paying $50 for something that I can make myself and so I bought seven bundles of those flowers. There are six petals or six roses on each bundle. So you could, um, you know, easily take some twine and glue, glue, you know, glue down the twine, the, the little rose things and make your own floral black backdrop if that's what you want to do. So that is what I plan on doing. And hopefully you guys will see that in my um, room tour whenever I film that and whenever I get... Um, almost finished because it'll probably never be finished but whenever I can get finished with this craft room so that is about it guys as always if you guys have any questions or comments just leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can take care guys bye